guys, so today I have a spooky box club unboxing for you. I have been waiting to do this box for literally ages. I meant to do it before Christmas, but you know, things got in the way. I ate too much food, I had too much fun, and I just didn't get around to filming it. So so today I am doing the Blood Moon box and I'm actually doing this as a little bit of a collaboration. So recently the Spooky Box Clubs have been a little bit controversial. Some people have been loving them, some people haven't liked them as much <laughs> and I think it's just a big mix of opinions. I myself have been a little bit on the fence as to whether or not to stay subscribed. So on the two channels, The Moon and Stars and also Ashling O'Neill, which I will link down below for you, they do also do Spooky Box Club unboxings. And, and the thing is, although primarily we're showing you the same content, um, our layouts are very different and I'm sure our opinions on some of the things are very different. So we thought we'd do a collaboration and now you know where to find more Spooky Box Club unboxings if you're looking for some good ones. Anyway, let's get into this box. This is the December box and it is the Blood Moon box. Now this one actually got here quicker than I expected. I thought this one would be coming around this time in January so I was quite pleased with their shipping um, this time they have been slightly lagging a bit but it seems like they're getting back on track on the front there's this sticker that says blood moon box and it has some kind of claws ripping through this box I assume is mainly based on kind of um, werewolves and things and hopefully there's gonna be some full moons and such inside do you mind making so much noise huh? so inside of course we have our wormies and the cheat sheet. So again, this box does seem slightly big for the amount that's in there, but straight away I can see a fabric item, which is something that they didn't have in the last box, which, which I was a little bit disappointed about. So I'm really glad that there is a fabric item in this box. The first thing it comes in this little black organza bag, and it appears to be some kind of blood dripping thing. I've seen so many things similar to this around Halloween. I nearly bought them, but never did. Um, but this seems to be some kind of choker. I thought maybe it was a bracelet because it's quite small, but it does appear to be a choker. So let's see what it looks like when it's on. There is literally no way that's gonna fit my neck. It has such a tiny chain on the back, um, but that's the kind of effect that it would have. So it does have this almost kind of realistic blood look to it. This is the extension chain that's on one end with just a normal clasp on the other. This extension chain is slightly too short for my neck so either I have to add like an extension to it or I may just sell this. This material is the strangest material ever. I expected it to be rather rigid but it's kind of very bendy it almost feels like it would break and it is quite stretchy so possibly if I gave this a bit of stretch it would actually go around my neck okay it's also a very kind of sticky plasticky material it's kind of like this is gonna be a really far-fetched way of explaining it you know those things you get as a kid which are like squishy um plastic like they're normally like worms and I got one Okay, so you know these kind of like squishy, plasticky toys that you get when you're a kid? And they're kind of like an almost like sticky plastic. It feels exactly like that, like they feel like they're made out of the same material. Um, although this is obviously a little bit more stretchy. I feel like this could be a really good kind of dressing up piece, like if you're going as someone like a zombie or something maybe like one of henry the eighth's wives who was beheaded or something but i feel like it may be a little bit too flimsy to be like an everyday necklace if i am selling any of these things i will put them on my depop which is also down below um so you can find them so the next thing in here this is actually quite pretty it is this and from the looks of it it's like a vinyl sticker all right yeah it's a vinyl sticker and this one is of a crescent moon, which I really like. I'm really glad that there's like some moon themed things in here because I do really like moons. And this says Lone Wolf on it. It's quite a pretty design. I do love crescent moons and I quite like all of this sort of flowery stuff around it. I'm not like the biggest fan of this Lone Wolf thing, but it reminds me of one of my friends when I was at school because we used to call her the Lone Wolf, which is completely irrelevant. But I think I'm going to keep it because overall I do like the kind of aesthetic of it. I'm not sure where I'm going to stick this. Maybe I'll stick it inside my car or something the next thing is a lolly this one is red and white so maybe strawberries and cream i'm gonna say that strawberries and cream it has a very kind of you know the really artificial tasting strawberry like the strawberry taste that you get in sweets 
It tastes just like that. I'm definitely really loving their like new lollipops um, compared to how they used to have them. My only complaint is that it doesn't tell you what they taste like. But I guess it's kind of like a little fun surprise when you go to eat it. So then we've got something else in an organza bag. And this one seems to be a necklace. Oh, this is quite cute, actually. It looks like some kind of... It looks a bit like a stained glass window or an arch or something. It's a heavy metal. It's a really nice quality. Um, on the back, it's just plain and it just says Spooky Box Club at the bottom. But it seems to be a nice, sturdy pendant. Um, it is primarily silver, but it's kind of got like that black inlay thing. So you can see the details a bit better. I'm not sure if this is meant to be like a really nice doorway or a window. But thinking about like the theme of werewolves, it reminds me of a Doctor Who episode I watched when I was really young. Where... Um, they were all like hiding and there was a big window and the wolf went near it so that'll be my association for werewolves but it comes with a really nice long chain which does have a clasp and just overall it feels like a really nice quality piece next up we have the pin and you know it's going to be a big pin when it has two clasps on the back um, again it's in an organza bag I absolutely love these bags I reuse them all the time I have like a little drawer in my room just full of them just where I've been collecting them through so this one looks, okay, that's kind of cool. It looks like a little banner. I love these kind of banners. Whenever I make like birthday cards and Halloween and Christmas cards, I always draw these little banners on them. So it's a little silver banner pin and it's got various little stars and things in the background. And it says loner on it, which is kind of a strange thing to say. I'm not quite sure why that is um, associated with like werewolves and things. Still quite like the look of it and it'll go really nicely with all my other Spooky Box Club pins. I do like the fact that they've got like a plain silver one as well. They have been doing loads of like the enamel ones recently, which don't get me wrong, I really really like them, but it's quite nice to have a little bit of variation. And this will go with the like skull one that we got in the strange box and also the like the Victorian hand which was in the gothic garden box. This one would definitely fit in nicely. Okay, so I was totally right. Last month in the box we got a charm bracelet and I said, mm, I wonder if they'll be giving us a charm each time now. So I think I must be right because we have got another charm. Unfortunately, very sad story, I put my charm bracelet after filming that video and I wore it for about two days and then the chain just randomly snapped and I lost it. Um, I remember it snapping and then putting it in my pocket and being really annoyed that it had snapped and then it must have just fallen out of my pocket and I'd lost it so I was really quite annoyed about that um so now I have a charm and no charm bracelet to put it on so I'll probably be selling this charm so it's kind of like in a teardrop shape it's plain silver on the back and it has a kind of red crystal sort of nicely set into it and then the same little clasp as the bat one had and also the crossbones again from the looks of it it seems like a nice quality and i do actually really like the shape it kind of reminds me of a vampire like drop of blood rather than a werewolf i also really love the color it's such a shame that i lost that charm bracelet i could potentially um, attach this to a different charm bracelet but I'm just kind of bummed out that I lost my bat charm um, because I really really liked that bat charm. Okay so it looks like there's only two more things in here other than a shed load of moon confetti. So in here there's also some blood moon tea and it says black tea, dried raspberry pieces, rose petals, black breed leaf and natural flavours. So we got one of these um, in the haunted library box i haven't actually tried it yet i have opened it i'm not gonna open this one just because i'm gonna try the other one see if i like it and if i don't like it i'll be selling this one because from what i remember they sounded like they had exactly the same ingredients in them overall though i absolutely love the packaging of their tea i love these like tin boxes they're so nice as i said i actually have a adam's family one just like this which i keep my medication in that i take daily and I just it's so convenient to carry around and they're just really nice because they kind of clip down um, I love the sticker that's on here I really like the kind of simplistic look to it all these moon and stars definitely remind me of the moon and stars which is very relevant for this collaboration okay I lied there's two more things this is so pretty so this is a print normally I do sell my prints because I find sometimes the color schemes aren't fantastic but I've kept one there and one there. There. 
so I think I'll probably be sticking this on with those ones because I really really like it again I know that the moon and stars is going to literally adore this print but it has all the different moon phases on it it's very light colours but it says moon phases at the bottom um young and old there and then it's just got all the different moon phases with their names I love the kind of um, cloud background it sort of reminds me of watercolors and I just think it's really gorgeous I may actually not put this on the wall and actually stick it on front of my like workbook that I have for uni this print also seems to be the same size as the other prints so I think they kind of come in a standard size which is pretty handy if you're someone who likes to frame these prints so the last thing is the um, fabric item which I'm really excited about, literally Spooky Box Club. One of the main reasons I get it is because of the fabric items because I always think that they are like worth more than the box itself. So last week when we didn't get a fabric item I felt a little bit like I hadn't got my money's worth but whenever we do get a fabric item I'm always so excited. I wonder if any of you would be interested in seeing a video of like the top 10 things that we got from Spooky Box Club because some of their items I do actually use on a daily basis. Now this is, I thought this was a tea towel but it's definitely not a tea towel because it's a bit bigger than I thought. This kind of looks almost like a mini tablecloth or maybe an altar cloth or something like that but it's really really pretty it has this sort of repetitive star design on it and um, this open eye in the middle and then I believe yep each of the corners have like a closed eye and then two little crescent moons either side this is really simple and also really pretty and I'm pretty sure that this would fit so nicely in the moon and stars house like literally I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as an altar cloth I probably will make something out of it I could potentially make one really big cushion out of it um but I'm sure I will come up with something to do with it Anyway, I'm so pleased with this and with pretty much all of their fabric items, I'm sure I will find something to do with it. That is everything in the spooky box other than some moon confetti, which I love. I feel like they've made a positive move upwards. Um, they, As I said, I have been slightly disappointed recently, but they have regained my trust. I think I'm going to stay subscribed to them. Especially because the next box that we're paying for is called like Soup Spooky Cute or something. So I feel like there may be some cute bats or some cute ghosts or something in that one. It's been a while since I've checked their Instagram but I think their next box is the Urban Goth box. So that, so that one will be really interesting. I feel like there's a lot they could do with that. As I said, this video was in collaboration with The Moon of Stars and Ashling O'Neill who I will link down below. They are amazing, amazing channels to follow. They obviously don't just do Spooky Box Club unboxings, but they do have mainly like an overall spooky feel to them. Ashling O'Neill has just done an amazing like Vlogmas series. It's probably worth going back and just binge watching the whole thing. Um, it's really kind of down to earth, which is something I feel like a lot of people don't get right in their in their like vlogs. They're too fake. So as I said, check her out. She also has some like Halloween home decor -y things, and also she has a little bearded dragon called Alby, who is gonna become best friends with Pod. Now I'm sure most of you know the Moon and Stars by now because I do not stop going on about her. But she has loads of hauls, lots of kind of homeware and clothing kind of videos. And she's like the ultimate spook queen on here and literally has a house to die for. If any of you yourself do spooky box club unboxings please do leave it down in the description below because I love checking out other people's videos once I film mine I go back and watch everyone else's just because I don't like to get too many spoilers although it's pretty impossible with Instagram and Depop. I do find it really interesting as I said to see other people's opinions also like what they're gonna do with things. I know it sounds a little bit strange but some people see items like this coffin shelf and I use mine for all of my pens and it's like the perfect pen holder although it is actually meant to be a shelf so it's kind of really interesting to see what other people do with these items because just because it says it's a shelf doesn't mean you have to use it as a shelf thank you so much for watching if you've got any questions or comments please do leave them below if it's sunny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i'll see you next time bye